There's so many people that were hit. Oh, my God, the car came through the whole entire front. It's inside the store. A terrifying morning for some shoppers in Las Cruces when a car plows into a crowded store, killing a 67-year-old woman and injuring more than a dozen others. CBS 4 at 5.30, Selena Madrid is live on the scene in Las Cruces to show you the damage and how the shocking crash unfolded. Yeah, John, this is a developing story and we have been continuing to get updates throughout the entire day. The newest update we have just about a couple hours ago from Las Cruces police is that out of the 15 victims that were hurt, we do now know that one person has died. Police identifying that person as a 67 year old woman whose name is Pamela Nelson. Now they say she was shopping inside of this store when this all happened earlier this morning. Go ahead and take a look. This massive board that you see right Right here now nailed into the building is where that vehicle crashed into the store and from what police and witnesses have told us the vehicle did not come to a stop until it crashed into the back end of this building traveling through this business i call it survivor's guilt i'm usually up in the front that's my position it's my job i should have been up there if i'm being honest I'm grateful that I wasn't. Savers employee Elijah Sanchez stands outside the store, staring at the massive scene of first responders, recounting the moments a vehicle slammed through this building, leaving multiple people injured. The chaos erupted just shortly after 10 a.m. as dozens of people, including Agent Guerrero, were shopping inside. We just went in there trying to do some shopping. Uh, I was going to, walking towards the front and I hear a loud crash. And I turn around and I just see this car just going through the cash registers, you know, plummeting, pushing all the clothes racks to the side, people to the side too. There's people on the floor, people bleeding. It was, it was a mess. It was scary, terrifying. It does not appear to be intentional at this point, but again, we have to look at it uh, thoroughly. The two witnesses I spoke with said the vehicle involved was an SUV. The car went through the main entrance and it ended up all the way to the back right side. Um, it was a car like just like the Ford Explorer. That SUV sending 10 of the 15 people injured to the hospital. One of the customers who was right there in the front of it, she, she just needed some help being held up and made sure that she was okay, had the support that she needed. If she needed anything, I told her I'd be right there for her. A quick video obtained by another shopper shows the mess left behind. As we slow this footage down for you, you can see broken glass, debris all over the floor. And if you look to your bottom right, you can see Elijah holding up that woman. It's a day he says he will never forget. It's really sad and heartbreaking and I hope that, you know, everyone who's hurt by this is going to be okay. My prayers are out to them. Yeah, very scary situation, as you just heard that recount from numerous witnesses there. Now, police say that out of the people that were hurt, they aged in range from 30 years old all the way to 90 years old. Now, the driver is 69 years old and also did go to the hospital for her injuries. Police say what they believe happened here was that she lost control of the vehicle because she accidentally pressed the gas instead of the brake as she was trying to park to go inside the store. Information still very limited at this time. As soon as we learn anything new, you can count on us to bring you the latest both on air and online at CBS4local.com. I'm reporting live from Las Cruces, Selena Madrid, CBS4 at 530.